Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Thursday, the 22nd of December. It's about 2 o'clock or so, I think, in the in the afternoon. The, uh, the storm, uh, somewhere around 3 it's supposed to hit. So <laughs> Kelly goes, um, I need coffee. I go, uh-oh. So we're going to get coffee. I'm going to get another 5 gallons of, of uh, non-ethanol super unleaded and then one of the other race cans just in case color goes it's only supposed to last about 12 hours or so once it hits but better to be prepared than unprepared uh, the uh, video from yesterday which will be today's release um yesterday for you guys because this one gets released tomorrow <laughs> anyway that's um i have i just gotta tag it and render it it's uh, all the editing part of it is done. Um, hope you guys enjoy that. The solution to the uh, Spider 1330 sprocket removal. <laughs> Simple tool. Didn't cost that much either. It's crazy. Might even buy one of those things for myself. Store bought that one. But uh, anyway, taking the war wagon down. And uh, Mama's coming with. And. Uh, this will be the beginning of the day, even though it's early afternoon. Dang it. I'm in a spot I can't, well, I can digitally zoom, but that'll look terrible. Yeah. Lots of snow in the mountains back there. That's beautiful. So it must have dried up overnight. It's, it's like, yeah, it's like 26. I think it's probably all the hotter it's going to get today. But um, all this was, was frozen last night coming home. It's now just, uh, it's all evaporated. No way I got that thing exactly five gallons twice in a row. Look at that. Real gasoline. It smells like real gasoline, too. Somebody sprinkled some salt down there, trying not to stand it and get my feet on anything. Holy moly, it's cold out here. Oops. I think I'm in the... Am I going to clear it? Nope. All right. Let's get her packed up. Head for the hacienda, get home, treat it, and be done. Thought we'd drive down here and see what's going on at the park. I always forget the name of this lake. They call it a count, there's a sign that says County Park. Turn here. I never know what the, oh look, they got the gates open. Yeah, there's something on the campus, so. Oh. Maybe they're a party. Never. Get an angle and see the. Oh, yeah, look at that. Well, she sure doesn't have that glowing, beautiful look like it does in the summertime, though, does no. it? They never retrieved their dock and reattached it. Yeah, it's probably gonna wait till spring. Though. Yeah. To dang cold. That's not all of it. Where's the other half of it? Um, I don't know. I don't see it. I don't either. <laughs> crazy that thing broke free that was last year in the in the flood yeah look at that the sun's even trying to come out there mama it's trying those are cormorants out there mm -hmm. who knows where the other part of that dock is yeah, that's a big old camper maybe that's because they're looking, they were looking for volunteers to, because the county doesn't pay for it or something. Yeah. It's just kind of a volunteer thing. I mean, they pay for, you know, construction stuff, but they don't pay for somebody to monitor it. Yeah. Crazy enough, even in Toledo, you live in a world, you need to take care of stuff. You leave it open, people go out there and tear things up or whatever it is they do. Why would you go into a park and mess with a park? At some point this year, this will all be underwater again. Yeah, I remember coming through here. It was on the low chassis. I was coming through and I'm like, are my feet gonna get wet? And I just held my toes up in the air and my boots were working like skis going across. It was just high enough that it was, a, it was about the height of the top of the foot pegs. And I'm laughing looking at my feet as they're going through like a little toy boat. 
Just keep your toes in here. I stayed dry. That Corvette, you'll look out there sometimes, it's completely gone. Yeah. Usually it just you just see the roof sticking up. Oh look, they got Christmas stuff out there. Mom. I like the hay bale things. Isn't that so cute? Yeah. Oh look, they made a little house out of the hay bale. Yeah. All right, mama, let's head on back up the hill. Crazy how <laughs> I know, like old Raven. It's amazing how uh, lifeless everything looks this time of year, but it has its own beauty, you know. I think it's beautiful because it's so different. Everything's so green and popping and floral all summer long, and then all of a sudden it turns into this. The nice thing about around here, you go a little higher up. There's evergreens everywhere, so the green all comes back. Tree wise, anyway. I don't think these trees can survive up in them hills. So I'll come out here tinkering with this. A little label here saying, you know, never leave a battery attached. I mistakenly left a battery attached to it. And it's it it's a lipo battery and it wiped it out. I can't get it to snap out of it. She's a goner. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> and, uh, Kelly was showing me, I didn't see it from work. You know, they're saying about us being closed. And uh, they got a picture of some dude all froze up on a motorcycle. <laughs> that just makes me colder even think about it. There's some, the, some freezing rain sprinkling down out there now so we'll see how this all comes out it came a lot later than i thought huh those are the little icons there that thing's so much fun these brushless motors they just rip it's crazy how fast that thing is you what's that i think it's is it a fire i don't remember how many cells or it's a f i don't know Anyway, the bigger the battery, the bigger one, the better battery is still good. But uh, this thing's almost unruly with that thing. You definitely have some finger control on the old three auto. <laughs> That's a bummer. Can't snap it out of there. Oh, I took that cover off. I'm going, what battery's in that thing? Man, took the cover off and it's plugged in. I never did get the little fan because this thing, it rips along so good that it it goes into an overheat mode and just woes it way up. There's a little fan that tracks the cells that it's really cheap. It just clicks on the top and, and um, based on temperature, the fan runs and cools the controller off. Huh. So much fun. Anyway, what I was going to do the other night, now on in the 11th hour when the stuff is starting to fall... I'm going to come out here and see what I can do with this thing. Maybe good, maybe bad, maybe nothing. I don't know. <laughs> well, we've got the coolest little single burner. Um, uh, not propane, but the name of the gas. I can't believe I got the thing at work. A snap-on one that works really good. It only gets to about 350 degrees, which wasn't enough for that sprocket. And to use some map gas on that thing. But it's nice to know we got ten gallons of of uh, of unleaded, super unleaded, non ethanol, and it's treated. I treated it when I got home, so I can use it in whatever. Then I this bottle has been empty for a while, so I, it's another twenty liters of water. And there's another one like that in the house. So because our our well stops, there's a way I can disconnect the well from the house and power it. But uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Let's see what we can do with this nasty thing. With a hundred bucks, these things cost nowadays, and it's literally, absolutely the same same item. Ain't a whole lot to it, is there? <laughs> Let's see if I can get some of this stuff cleaned up. Let's see what we can do with it. Man, I pray none of you guys are out on those roads. This is about an hour ago. State Patrol was reporting over 20 cars overturned on I-5 between Vancouver and uh, Longview, Kelso. 
and now it's the, the freeways are completely shut. I five two hundred five. There's a semi's jackknife. It's just a calamity out there, and um, it's definitely coming down here, and it's very deceiving because it's just. It looks normal until you walk out there on it. And it is frightening. I couldn't imagine driving a car in this. Man, poor birds up in that tree and everything. Ooh. So what do you think? It ain't perfect. There's still, it's almost like food stains that are still on the sides and stuff, but I got, got everything else cleaned up and, um, that's the best I could do with that thing there. There's just some of those stains that just won't come out. But I can guarantee you, it's clean. <laughs> yeah, I took a bath on that one. I literally had to take this into the shower with an SOS pad. But the SOS pad doesn't, yeah, it left stains and stuff. I'm just trying to get the, the chunky stuff out. But there she goes. Let's get this thing back together. I might need this thing. How about that, Kelly? Saved us a hundred bucks with that thing. Don't know if it works or not. But uh, maybe we can find a place outside there to light her off and uh, let her run. How about that? Look who come out to join me. <laughs> Look at this. And that's with that old can that's been in there who knows how long. Ooh, that thing's putting off some nice heat there, Mama. <laughs> Let's hug it. <laughs> How about that? Very good. It lives. It does. You've done awesome, Yeah. Babe. You saved us 100 bucks. Yeah. Just took some cleaning and a little... It still needs some cleaning because there's, like, stains on it here and there. Hey, she'll cook the food. That's okay. amazing. I think we might lose power. Yeah, I don't think this is probably going to end very well, huh? No. How about that, Mama? Very cool, babe. That old, old, old Coleman stove. <laughs> That's crazy. It works good. Yep. All right. How about that? Well, let's get inside where it's warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Button this thing up. Kind of wondering if we shouldn't go ahead and get one of the generators which need to pick one choose one get it in place and uh be ready because um yeah anything can happen this could be this could be ugly so hmm, let me ponder here for a second maybe we'll drag one of those things just get it in the ready because i don't want to be carrying a heavy generator up the steps and slip and fall that would not be cool all right Holy moly. That is pure ice falling down. It is flat letting us have it. Holy moly. Man. So I was looking at the maps around here and just the free, well, the freeways are mostly closed, but uh, everything's just red. It's crazy out here. Man, Woo. what's funny is the accumulation. It's funny how freezing rain doesn't, it's not like sleet, sleet and stuff, how it accumulates. But it don't matter. It is slipperier than you can possibly imagine. I would not want to be in an automobile in this, like, at all. You would be in serious, serious trouble. And they are the ones that have dared Wow, it's so cold. It doesn't even. It's just it's bouncing off the off the phone. It's not even collecting to anything. Holy moly! Yeah, that's nuts, huh? Whoa, slippery too. Hmm. And this is. In effect until I think 10 p.m. tomorrow and it never gets above freezing it's late tomorrow night it uh it gets above freezing 
Oddly enough, on Christmas Day, on Sunday, it's supposed to be in the mid to upper 50s. Isn't that freaky? All right. Enough floundering around out here trying to bust my butt. You sure make some very careful steps out here. <laughs> well, hello there, YouTube. So Mother Nature's given us a little break in the downpour. You don't hear the roar of the freezing rain coming down. Or little sleep pellets, whatever you call it. I guess it's not really it done freezing rain. It freezes on contact or something like that. I don't know. It's cold and it's, it's cold. unbelievably slippery out there. Oh yeah. You gotta go down them steps like real slow. Must be <laughs> careful. Yeah. And even out there in the the gravel and stuff, boy, you can just see if you just made a quick move the wrong way, you'd be go. You know, bye -bye. Yeah, Especially we don't bounce anymore. No, crunch like that old bag of Doritos being stepped on. You know? <laughs> I know, we kind of go crunch. crunch. A whole bunch of owls and goons. And... Man, so we're like, where's all the kids? So, you know, the, the girls and Kyle, Ryan, doesn't answer, you know, finally answers back. He goes, well, I've been working days so that... Uh, because I, I knew this weather was coming. I just wanted to, to be home, you know. And he finally answered after he made yeah. me worry forever. And then Christy you. took her sweet time to answer. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny, that thing of, like, when something like this happens and all the crashes and all that stuff going on, where's the kids? Yeah. And then Where is everybody? They don't ever answer back in a, in a timely, timely manner. manner. I know it. Now, if they send you a text and you take too long, that's a whole nother thing. Are you going to answer me? Yeah, they'll be Get pulling up text. to the house next thing you know. Yep. Why are you guys scared me to death? Why would you answer your text? I'm like, hmm, mm -hmm. how does that feel? Yeah, I know it. But it's everybody's at home, warm, safe. Yeah. Cuddle down, waiting for it to pass. Mm-hmm. Go from there, you know. <laughs> But anyway, Mama, on a cold, wintry night, what a way to welcome the second day of winter, huh? Yeah. Wow. And all of them people that are still stuck oh, out there on those freeways and stuff. I feel so sorry for them. Yeah, it's crazy. It's messed up. It is. You look at maps, and it is It is not good. Mm -mm. Uh, this I'm, crashes everywhere. Yeah, from well below Portland all the way up to Canada. It's, it's just a nightmare. But... Those winter events happen. So yep. on that, we're going to bounce. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Thank you. We'll see you in the morning. See you then. All right. Thanks mm -hmm. for watching. Bye-bye.